Hey folks, boys, and welcome back to another Poe Massive video. And tonight at reset, right, we should have the shiny Mega Rayquaza and an anniversary Steven dropping. And uh, which I will be summoning live as usual. Personally, very, very excited. I love Steven. I love, you know, Rayquaza, especially shiny Mega Rayquaza. That's really, really, really cool. Um, so make sure you guys, uh, you know, tuned in, have notifications on for that. We could, uh, Hopefully have as good luck as and if not even better, right? All right now. Let's get into the actual topic of this video and Oh boy, um All right, here's the thing If you're like me uh, If you also like Steven a lot, right if you love his outfit it looks really really cool at least in my opinion personally If you love Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza, Shiny Rayquaza, whatever the heck Go for it, right? Go for it, right? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, right? This game isn't extremely difficult. Like, you could clear most of the content with, if not all the content, right? 95% of the content of the game with just free units. So just summon for your favorites, right? Um, that being said, we can still talk about this. Right. Uh, if you don't care about Steven, don't care about Rayquaza, don't care about Shiny Rayquaza, first of all, what? <laughs> what kind of person doesn't like Steven or Rayquaza at all? But that aside, I guess we could also talk about it for people who don't care about the unit and are just wondering, okay, if this, is this guy strong? Is this guy good to pull? So, let's, before we get into that let, let, let's look at his kit first right so his kit is very it's a very very complicated kit actually um so if first look at its uh stats right the hp is not terrible it's not great either right the attacks special attack is pretty bad for a striker right defense are not good either speed's decent right and then after you mega you gain a bunch more speed nothing else uh <laughs> I mean, which is good. Speed is good, but like, you know, it's not like speed's a bad stat, but like, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of awkward because like usually Megas gain, um, gain either two or three stats. This guy only gains one stat for some reason. I do not know why, but anyways, um, moving on, let's get into this move. First of all, Dragon Ascent, a uh, pretty powerful move. Dragon Ascent is a pretty powerful move, right? Um, high BP. Lowers your defense, special defense, four gauge, physical, flying type, right? Um, the thing is with uh, with Dragon Ascent is even though it lowers your defenses, since you have downside up, which is like contrary, but only for like positive or for negative stats, turns these into positive. So every time you use Dragon Ascent, instead of debuffing your defenses by one stat rank, you increase them by one stat rank, which is very, very good. That's undeniably good, right? The, you, you, there's, yeah, for sure. That's very, very, very good. Um, you have X attack, you have Draco Meteor, which lowers your special attack by two, two, uh, two stat ranks, but in this case, buffs them, right? If you were to use Draco Meteor for some reason. Uh, although, is his dragon type damage actually isn't that bad, honestly. Um, Sky High is your train move, which gives you plus three crit, and then gives you super effective up next, and then um, when it's used by Mega Request, it gives you plus two speed as well. Uh, honestly, this... this this train move is a bit extra uh, it has two mps but like you max out your crit in one the extra super effective up is nice right i guess so like if you're running a gauge heavy team and like for one turn you're just out of gauge you could just use that second train move and then get an extra at least get an extra super effective up on your next hit or if you're mega crazy like gain a bit of speed i guess and then your sync move triumph and glory dragon ascent uh low base power because it's mega right um physical uh, flying and then your passive home flag bearer same flag bearer right powers up the moves of the of your team by 10 percent reduce the damage taken by 20 percent and the more hoenn units there are on the team the more of these get increased um powers up moves additionally by 10 percent then reduces damage by three percent maximum power up 30 percent maximum damage reduction 26 percent right uh, good form here's his big multiplier right this is this is how he actually does damage uh, is is this this big big multiplier? Do we know a hundred percent how this multiplier is calculated? No, but we kind of know. It should be the opposite of power loving, with the inclusion of crit buffs, 
right? So this should be a pretty powerful multiplier, right? Um, however, here's the thing. If you want to max this out, theoretically, right, um, you should need 45 buffs, which where in the world are you going to get 45 buffs, right? Because that's plus 6 attack, plus 6 special attack, plus 6 special defense, plus 6 defense, plus 6 speed, plus 3 crit, plus 6 accuracy, plus 6 evasion. Very, very, very hard to max that out, right? So, uh, although although there, there, there's, a, there's a good average that you could generally get to, right? Which makes his damage overall not terrible, I guess, <laughs> right? And then yeah, move gauge refresh for it, which is just a move gauge refresh on your passive. So as for your grid, your grid honestly is not good, right? Um, you have fierce entry, which I guess is something if you don't want to run extra like attack support. Outside of that, um, fleet feed is nice, right? Plus one speed every time you use dragon ascent. Again, every time you use Dragon Ascent, you buff your defense as well. So every time you're using it, you Dragon Ascent with Fleet Fleet, that's like plus three extra stats. Um, and, 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 and yeah, Mookie Refresh on Dragon Ascent. And that's honestly all the good notes he has, right? Like the Dragon Ascent power-ups. Like if you're looking, wow, he has Clear Sync Up 9 and Clear Sync Up 5. He has such a big multiplier on, on his sync move. Uh... Yeah, the multiplier is big, but his sync still does like not a lot of damage, right? Unless like you have super effective up on it. Okay, it does like some damage, but again, it's overall not a lot of damage. Um, because again, even with that multiplier, this attack stat plus since he's mega, he has a low um, you know, move power on 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 his uh, sync move, right? Like again, Nate. Nate and Bravier's sync nuke does more damage than him, and you know, Nate and Bravier's sync move is not something to brag about. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not anything crazy either. So, yeah, his, his grid is pretty bad. His grid is pretty bad. Uh, if you're thinking, well, what about the clear power up? Well, here's the thing look how much energy this costs, alright? Let's see, we're at 60. That's all right, 42. That costs eight, 18 energy for a 10% power up, and you have to make sure the weather is is clear you know at all times which means you you know if you're running it with Groudon or running it with Kyogre you're gonna decrease Groudon and Kyogre's effectiveness right and if you also need weather wipe for that to get rid of the weather then that's another 16 energy <laughs> over here right and then if you want to pick up like the clear sync up stuff like that's basically your whole th like you can't pick up like any of the actual good stuff right so his grid is not very good um so overall for this unit is it a bad sync pair um as a sync pair not at all it's actually a very very powerful sync pair overall um in my opinion it's the strongest again this is this is subjective but i think it's the strongest flying type um striker uh even though drag or not dragonite um lance's gyarados does out damage him right on average uh lance's gyarados actually out damaged him by quite a bit however he is a much more versatile unit right overall um and and a bit more flexible in comparison to to Oh, actually, it's it's not even like that flexible, but like there's a lot of ways you could run him, right? Uh, although ugh, a lot of those ways are pretty fixed, though, right? But he does he does have a bit more partners than than uh, Gyarados could bring, but yeah, like he's again again his his, da his damage is not like terrible, right? On average, but here's the thing: to make his damage not terrible. You need to run Groudon with them, right? Because Groudon plus Rayquaza, they get the two Hoenn Master passives. He actually gets a pretty decent boost in his damage, right? Uh, he could actually get to pretty respectable damage, right? Single target damage wise, of all the three anniversary units, uh, Steven's the highest. Steven's the highest, single target damage wise, right? Uh, just non sync move, just regular move, single target. Steven has the highest damage. Um, However, that's not saying that much, right? You're not on 
Hoopa's level, you're not on, you know, Groudon or Kyogre's level, not on like Swampert's level or, or whatever, right? It's just, it's a good unit, right? I mean, again, you will destroy, you will dis you will obliterate flying weak stages with this guy. You might even obliterate off type stages with this, with this guy. It's just, he is not like next level good he's just good good which is still not bad right it's not a bad thing to have this unit on it in of itself it just kind of sucks that he's here during the anniversary right like he's you know he's just not you know, anniversary level right so anyways you guys heard me talk about steven before but uh in terms of the banner itself right Again, the gifts are always nice to, to uh, you know, have as, as extras, right? I mean, they put their, uh, for a reason, right? The gifts in there for a reason. Uh, here's the thing, in terms of, you know, should you summon for this unit, right? Again, I would still probably just wait a bit. Oh, and it's not just because of the Steven thing, right? Um, it's also, you know, N and, N, N and uh, Lily as well, right? Um, you should probably wait a bit. And... Uh, just, just wait for the data download whenever that happens in I should be around the 10th just see just to see what's you know what's what what's what's coming for the uh, second half of the month again these banners are gonna run through the entire month right so you really shouldn't be worried on like missing out or whatever um assuming there's nothing too crazy coming in the second half of the month is this something worth using your gems on? It's a tough call. Like, again, it's a good unit. It's a great unit, actually, right? Plus it's cool, plus it's, you know, whatever, right? But, like, it, uh, this is assuming you don't care about Rayquaza or Steven or whatever, right? Because, again, if you care about Rayquaza, if you like Steven, if it's your favorite, then you should go for it, right? But outside of that, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I guess, sure. Right? I mean, if, if if you don't have, like, as good of a flying type unit, you could definitely go for him, right? I mean, he's he's miles better than Nate, miles better than, like, Pidgeot, right? Um, miles better than Togekiss. You can maybe make an argument for him versus Gyarados. I personally do like him a bit better than Gyarados. Again, not only, you know, is, is he a great unit in himself, he does help your team much, much more than Gyarados, right? Uh, although not that much. Um, yeah. I'd say he's a solid unit summon on. Um, could there be more changes in the later to the unit? Maybe. I don't know. I can't promise you anything. I mean, I'm 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 trying on my end, <laughs> right? Uh, I've talked, you know, with, with, with them and stuff, but we don't know if it's going to cha change or not, right? Uh, if you're one of those skeptics, you could wait it out, I guess. I mean, it's, yeah. Again, the banner goes through the entire month until the end of the month. Um, for those hoping, oh, are, could they change it before you release? It's probably not happening. Uh, it's probably too late for them to change anything now. If they want to change anything, maybe, maybe later. But you know, it, it's probably gonna how it's gonna be um, uh, as it's gonna initially release. Uh, but yeah, it's still overall a good unit right uh, still pretty powerful um still again very 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 good for a flying type unit uh again if you are having trouble with flying types this this would definitely be something that that you could go for right if you don't have trouble with flying types you don't have to sell them for them right if you're if you're completely fine clearing flying type stages uh you should be fine right and that's mainly just like again just Gyarados, whatever, right? Um, if you are going for him, though, how many copies? Uh, I mean, you guys basically heard my take already. I think one copy's fine. I think one copy's fine. Uh, the rest of his kit doesn't like. Okay, like again, Fleet Feed is nice, but like if you just run him with like Lyra or something, which by the way, him Lyra Maxi, that's probably his best, um, best and most reliable team comp that you could run. Uh, Lyra could just max out the speed, so I really don't think it's a big deal. The rest of his 
his uh, dupes. Like, what does he even get at? No, what does he get at? Two out of five. Let's see. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's just the move gate refresh. That's like fine. Yeah, you you definitely don't need more copies if you want him. One copy is good enough. Uh, you could even save your candies. You don't have to use really use it on him, right? Um, he he's pretty powerful at base, right? And most of, most of his stuff is like this is this and this is 90% of his kit. These two are like just 90% of his kit, right? Like this is okay. That's my, my maybe a bit high, but like I just randomly pulled out a number. What are you gonna do, right? <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, again good unit i won't fault you for summoning on it i guess but uh again like i meant for it probably would just just wait a few more days wait a few more days see what happens first right and if you're fine with flying types then maybe you don't really need them because unlike ghost types ghost types is you know obviously much much worse overall as a type than flying type i'd say flying type is not that great either right um but I'd say flying types overall much much better than ghost types, right? Like even though blue is not very good in this meta at all right now, like it's still it's still better than what like ghost type generally has to offer. And and again, obviously Gyarados is, is, is very, very powerful, right? So anyways, that's what we that's what I guess. Hope you all enjoyed the guys in the comments down below. Uh like the videos right now, some more Pokemon Matters is kind of good luck if you guys are summoning. Again, I will be summoning live later tonight, so make sure to tune in and, and, and check that one out and I'll I'll see you guys in the next one then.